the main theme that I can see in my life and in my story is redemption. The prodigal son that ran away, wanted to do his own thing, and in the end, ended up with his face in the dirt, crawling back to his dad, and his dad just accepted him with open arms. He didn't deserve that. Definitely didn't deserve that. Music was always a part of my life. My mom's a singer, and she was always in, you know, worship band or choir. So I was just always around it. When I was seven, we moved to Brazil. Around eight or nine-ish, I uh, picked up a guitar and started plucking on the strings, trying to make a song. I had no idea what I was doing. So my uncle one day taught me this song that I really liked from this Brazilian band. And he was like covered in tattoos and stuff and like in this like heavy band. And I, when I was a kid, I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. I was like, yes. The content was a little above my age, but I was, I was just really into it. Well, when we moved back to the States, I sort of had that dream of being in a band and all that stuff. So in high school, I got into the much heavier music, sort of the, the metal scene, the metal core, sort of wanted to be a part of that. So I went to as many shows as I could. I had a girlfriend, she was going to a party and I was like, I want to do that, you know, the good old American high school experience. You drink and you smoke. So I went to this party and that was the first time I drank. It was the first time I smoked weed. It was the music plus the crowd and that's when it all started. So when I went to college, I moved out of my parents' house. I got an apartment in Boston. I found some people that actually wanted to play and I had a good number of songs. So we started a band, sort of grassroots. We want to make music, we want to party, so let's do it all at once. You know, there I was. I was in a band, I was playing shows. I went on tour and I had everything that I thought I wanted, everything I'd been searching for, dreaming of came to life and it sucked. I wasn't enjoying it and I didn't get why I wasn't enjoying it. This is what I had always wanted since I was a little kid. I dated some girls and got my heart broken and that turned me into just a callous, angry person. Things we did for fun became vices and addictions and I felt like I was poisoning myself. I had been struggling with depression and I used smoking weed to like get my mind off of this stuff, you know? I got home from work one day and I got a, a message from an old friend. She said, hey, I'm doing this 11 month backpacking trip. She sent me worldrace.org and that's when I saw that video. I don't really know how to describe how much I resonated with this character in this video. It was exactly what I was going through. His friends invite him out to a party and everyone's dancing and drinking and having a good time and he's just sort of not into it. You know, he puts his solo cup down and walks out the door and goes home, Google searches adventures and he finds the race. I just broke down. I was just crying in my room by myself. I had been trying to live this idealized life that I wanted to live and I wasn't living mine. I realized now that God spoke to me and said, I never told you to live this life. In fact, I told you not to live this life. You can come back to me. You can change your life. You need to go. And you need to go do this. This is what I have for you. I thought, you know, this is nuts. How am I just gonna go from here to being a missionary? <laughs> Didn't make any sense. And in the application, I had to check off all these boxes of things that I've struggled with, it was all yes. <laughs> Alcohol, yes. Tobacco use, yes. Drug use, yes. Sexual activity, yes. You know, I was like, dude, they're never, they're never gonna accept me. But I applied anyway. I was kind of scared, but mostly I was excited for a fresh start, for a new life. I didn't want to live for myself anymore. I wanted to help people. Traveling to 11 countries, it's appealing, but I was mostly excited to, to grow, and to have that change. You know, to be around these people that are gonna bring that out of me and be 
around a culture that's focused on Jesus and trying to do what Jesus did. I felt free. I felt crazy. I felt like a crazy person jumping around and doing things I never did before, but I really did feel free. My name is Evan Diaz, I am a world racer, and this is my story.